Are you interested in getting the most out of your exercise, the most out of your running? Well, then you need to have optimal spinal alignment. First, make sure we hit the like and subscribe button so you can get more information directly sent to you. Now, when it comes to our spinal alignment, we don't think about how that could be affecting our running too often. Now, there's a few areas I'm worried about in the spine when it comes to running. Now, I'm gonna grab the model here. And the first area I'm gonna be worried about is the upper cervical spine, or the cervical spine in general. Now, we're equipped with three curves from the side, 45 degrees in the neck, 45 degrees in the mid back, and 45 degrees in the low back. Now, when we have a 45 degree curve in the neck, that allows our body to, first of all, breathe like it's supposed to. But if we lose that curve, we start using what is called accessory muscles. So there's muscles in the front of the neck. They're like the sternocleidomastoid, the longest coli muscles. If these are stressed out, well, then they start working to breathe for us. So I want you guys to step, stand up nice and tall for me. Take a nice big deep breath in. Now I want you to bring your head forward in a position like this. Now, take a nice big deep breath in again. You should feel how that second breath in that head forward position, how that was a lot more work to, to take place. Now at the 45 degree curve, we're set up to breathe naturally with, through the diaphragm. Once we put ourselves in a position here with the forward head posture, we're using those accessory breathing muscles. Well, they're gonna fatigue faster. Our body's not gonna get the oxygen it needs to fuel us through a tough running workout. So we need to make sure we get this 45 degree curve back. The next area of the spine I'm worried about is the T7 vertebra down here. Now the T7 vertebra is almost like a transitional segment. It's a pivot point. It allows the, now when we're walking, running, it allows the upper segment of the spine and the lower segment of the spine to work together. And one works in a rotation movement this way, the other one works in a rotation movement this way. We have our arm swinging one direction and our opposite leg moving the other direction. This allows this to take place effortlessly. But if we lose that 45 degree curve and subluxate this segment, well then we're not moving like we should, so we might have a little more arm swing, we might have a little, too little uh, leg swing in the opposite leg, and that's gonna wear down, or we're gonna be using muscles like we shouldn't be, you're gonna wear down your joints, and you're gonna get tired faster because your body's not moving the way it's supposed to be. The last area I'm gonna be worried about is this hips and the lower spine. If there's misalignments here, then our knee is going to have some inadequate motion. If our knee has inadequate motion, it's gonna wear down faster and this is where you're gonna have meniscal issues. The same point, it could be due to a fact that we have a collapsed arch, so we might need to also check out the feet as well. So in order to get the most out of your exercise, the most out of your running, you have to have optimal spinal posture, which means that you are, uh, your subluxation is minimized. So if you're interested in, um, in getting your spine body back to peak performance, make sure you call the office at 303-254-8430, or you can text the word GIFT to that same number, and we'll have a discount for you so you can get this checked out so we can restore you to the human optimization you're meant to be doing, and we're gonna have you running pain-free, but also just your performance is gonna be elevated as well.